Hello all, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. In this video, we'll be discussing a Python-based machine learning model to predict the price of flight on the basis of given features in the dataset. As far as requirements of this model building is concerned, it requires Python programming language and a Jupyter notebook, which is an IDE in which Python or programs are run or machine learning models are built. Uh, make sure that you have installed all the necessary libraries used in this model building process, which is NumPy, Seaborn, Matplotlib, NLPK, etc. So with that being said, let's get started and have a look on the code of this particular machine learning model. So this is basically in code. We have divided, this is basically a, a huge project. We have divided the data set into uh, two data sets, train data sets and test data sets. We'll perform some operations on train data set first. And the same operations will be performed on test data set. So you can easily relate and accordingly we'll predict the values. So initially we have included all the necessary libraries in our uh, Jupyter notebook that is pandas, Num uh, numpy, seaborn and matplotlib. Seaborn and matplotlib is used for data visualizations to create some box plots, scatter plots, graphs, etc. Then we have loaded our data set in, in the Jupyter notebook. So you can see that we have all these features like airline, date of journey, source, destination, route, a departure time, arrival time, duration, total stops, additional info and price. So we, we have a lot of features here and uh, we need to perform a lot of data pre-processing out here uh, and feature engineering. So we'll uh, uh, analyze features one by one and further we'll, pro we'll perform data pre-processing and feature engineering in, uh, in this data set. So we have uh, seen that all the all these are objects. Objects means strings, that is airline is of string data type, date of journey is of string data type, and only the price is of int as you can see out here. So basically, uh, what is data pre-processing or feature engineering is, uh, as you can see that, that this departure time, arrival time, duration, and date basically. So uh, this particular model cannot understand uh, the time as uh, 20 to 20, means 2 hour 50 minutes, 7 hour 25 minutes. So we need to split this particular time first, then we can move ahead. This is called basically feature engineering or uh, data pre-processing. For example, you have a data set, you will clean the data set first, and then you will see that, uh, is there any chance or possibility of feature engineering or data pre-processing, right? So uh, you need to take features one by one, and then we'll further perform data pre-processing or feature engineering out here. So this model can uh, particularly cannot understand basically the, the such type of strings, which involves two or 50 minutes, seven or 25 minutes, 19 hours, five or 25 minutes, and the first, the, the first and the foremost thing out here is to clean the data set. So we'll clean the data set first and then we'll move ahead with further operations. So we will check that there is any null value. There is no null value. So we can perform EDA on that particular data set. EDA means basically stand for exploratory data analysis. Basically we'll uh, uh, analyze some features and uh, features given in the data set. Then we'll explore some features and accordingly we'll uh, conclude and infer some analysis out here. So what we have uh, done initially is we have converted this particular, uh, we have uh, created a new column called journey day. And journey day means you will get this particular column in a, it will add a new column named as journey day in the form of this particular date, 24, 1, 9, 12, 1, 9, 27. So you will, that, you will get that date of that particular journey day in the form of column of journey day. So we have uh, converted this particular thing. Then we have done same thing with the time and the date of journey first. We have split our data set accordingly. So as you can see that there is a new column journey day, which consists of only the date of that particular journey. So that this model can easily be un uh, understand the uh, strings because as this model does not support the format of this string, that like 24 January, February, March, uh, 2019. 2403 2019. We can uh, we can leave year column because this data set is of 2019. So all the columns of this particular journey date and journey time is of 2019. So we can uh, stop thinking about the year. We, do, we did not want to uh, split that particular year. We, we only want to split the month and the date and the day. So we have split it accordingly a month and the date. And, the, and as you can see that we have split it successfully journey day and journey month. So uh, now, now if we have split it this journey day and journey month, we don't need to have a, uh, this particular column, date of journey. So we have dropped date of journey as we have got initially, uh, as we have splitted journey date and uh, journey month 
as we have split it data uh, date of journey into uh, split uh, journey day and journey month so this is what we have done this the th same thing is done with the arrival times arrival time means we have <coughs> i means we have uh, split it this particular thing uh, if it is 23 30 that is uh, hours and minutes so uh, 23 hours and 30 minutes further we have added some more columns in the form of this thing so as you can see that uh, this is we have got arrival time arrival minute arrival hour is 1 hour 10 minutes 13 hours 20 15 minutes so we have split it this particular data set this is called basically feature engineering or data pre-processing uh, considering uh, features one by one and then splitting it for further analysis and efficient, anal and efficient analysis uh, the next we have the next we have done is uh, we have extract hour and hours and minutes too so as you can see that we have extracted hours and minutes too you have a column of uh, duration hours and duration minutes so we have splitted these particular thing and uh, if we are getting our arrival time arrival uh, hours minutes journey time journey hour minutes we are dropping that particular column simultaneously because we are creating a new stripped column of that particular values i hope things are clear, clear enough till now let's move ahead what we have done is we have uh, now it's time to analyze the feature uh, of airline we'll analyze the feature feature analyzing of air uh, airlines of airlines oh, sorry it's a i so we have created a cat plot basically you can also use box plot so as you can see that uh, uh, the most uh, high price is of jetway air airways business airline which is around 6000 uh, and jet uh, jet airways is around 3000 multiple carriers air india so we have this particular and we have till now till this eda uh, we have explored and analyzed that jet airway business airline companies uh, tickets are uh, uh, sky high in the price so we have done we will use uh, one hot encoding in this particular nominal categorical data as it is uh, as we cannot say that jet airway business is greater than jet airways or greater than or smaller than multiple carriers each have each have their own groups and own own identities so we'll perform one one hot encoding if it could not if it could be a ordinal data we would have performed label encoding but it is a nominal categorical categorical data so we'll perform one one hot encoding so basically this particular data frame tells us that uh, on this particular day air india is of uh, air india journey was planned uh, and uh, Accordingly, airline Indigo journey was planned, uh, and this is one one means journey is planned, zero in zero means journey is not planned. So we have uh, shown data uh, airline data dot head. We can also explore airline data dot tail here. Oh, I need to uh, restart the kernel, I guess. Then I need to things restart and all cells. It will take certain time to restart the kernel. Okay, it's done. Uh, so this is basically uh, uh, where we are. We, uh, huh. This is this was uh, we have in uh, uh, performed some feature engineering uh, data pre-processing, and next we have uh, seen that this particular thing tail. So now it's time to explore the source feature in, uh, source source column. So again we have plot a uh, a source versus price cat plot. So as you can see that uh, the journey uh, the destination the source where the source is bangalore the price is high we have explored that if you are starting your journey with source as bangalore the price is high accordingly we will see the destination uh, feature too but initially we are talking about the source column so we have again performed some uh, one uh, hot one, one hot encoding uh, as the uh, source of uh, bangalore is high so we have dropped that particular column because in this uh, uh, one hot encoding, you can drop that uh, one column which we have zero zero values. Similarly, we'll see the destination that the most destinations are of coaching means mostly users are uh, landing on coaching. So we'll perform uh, we'll perform this particular further analysis. Then we'll take up the uh, route feature that right? uh, the uh, Bangalore to Delhi route is something the way or the path you are taking to travel your journey. This is basically for example if if you are uh, 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 planning this particular journey. You are going uh, from Kolkata to Bangalore, and the route is this particular. That uh, it will not directly land on Bangalore. It will then uh, it will take this particular route, and will take up accordingly two stops. You can see that this is uh, uh, Kolkata, this is Bangalore. So there are two stops, two stops out here. You can easily infer from this this from here. 
Furthermore, we move ahead with uh, we have in, in, uh, analyzed the feature uh, like crowd uh, destination arrival time. Now it's time to see the uh, de- source part, route part. Sorry, route part. So we have uh, we are just dropping the route part and the additional info as route part and the number of stops is the same. As you can see that if uh, the flight is not taking direct a uh, direct flight is not uh, landing to the destination, it will reach. It will reach that particular. Dest- uh, it will uh, take some stops and then uh, reach that particular uh, uh, destination. So this is basically what is uh, what we are want, uh, aiming for. That uh, so we will drop that particular column because additional info and route is of no column. If we have number of stops in that particular column, uh, so uh, the taking the route is of no column. So we will do the things accordingly. Then we'll ta- uh, we'll analyze the total shops of value counts. Basically, this will give the just a second, guys. Yeah. Okay. Basically, this will give the uh, total number of value counts in that uh, that there is there is uh, this much journey of one stop, this much journey of two stops accordingly. So then we'll perform one a hot level uh, encoding to that particular thing. Then we'll data train. We'll we'll print out concat train data airline source destination access equals to one. So we'll uh, basically all the we have, we'll uh, concat all the uh, uh, features that we have analyzed and, uh, and basically it will ready, uh, create a ready data, a clean and efficient data for further analysis. As you can see that uh, uh, this data frame is ready. Uh, we have we have get all the uh, features of one hot label encoding. So this is our entire data for further analysis. Then we have uh, checked the shape of the data and we have done the things. Now the thing is. This this particular operations, all the operations were performed in the train data. Similarly, we'll perform these all the operations in the test data. So we have loaded our test data first. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's the test data. We have loaded our test data first, and all the operations which we have which we have done that will drop that uh, particular uh, value will convert R in R in time will will split split arrival time and arrival minutes, source, destination, date. So this was I have. Explain this particular all these core uh, things in the uh, test data. So I have included all the functions in one particular cell and I have run it accordingly. Then it's time to uh, perform some more feature selection in the test train data. We have performed all the uh, operations in the test data. Now it's time to all perform all the operations in the train data. So this is all the indexes as you can see. Uh, then we have uh, used ILOG function to split some data. We have used uh, heat map to analyze the correlation concept. More the green is uh, can uh, include that there is a uh, more correlation. For example, uh, this is this is of highest correlation. So th- uh, this corresponds to total stops and uh, total stops. So obviously, uh, to, uh, the same feature will have uh, more correlation. Uh, total stops and price is of is have correlation of 0.6. Means price and total cost will increase or decrease accordingly uh, with a correlation factor of 0.6. So this is basically a heat map which tells us the correlation between all the variables which we have uh, considered. Then you, you will use the algorithm as extra tree regressor. Named as extra tree regressor, we'll import this particular algorithm from SQLN library. Then we'll do the uh, when then we'll have a uh, some some sort of bar graph to analyze the things further. If the destination is Hyderabad, this is particularly uh, a, pr- a price column, total stops, airline jetway, duration hours, journey day. This is uh, PLT dot figures. We have uh, initialized the figure sizes 12 comma 8, 12 length and 8 width. Then we have performed the train test split function that uh, this particular test size of 0.2 means 20% of data will be using for uh, test uh, testing, and less will uh, and uh, remaining data will be used for training purpose. So yes, we have predicted the things accordingly. We have founded the mean square error, root mean square error in this particular uh, model. And uh, we have uh, now used randomized search CV, which will uh, which will select the best possible parameters. Uh, so these 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 all are the best pos- uh, possible parameters. And this is basically all the this particular function will show the best uh, parameters out here. So let's do it. It's running. So I guess this model is clear. Uh, we have performed all the necessary operations. You can you uh, you can uh, you can even use. Uh, a uh, pickle file to save our uh, save this particular model in the form of ipynb file that is interactive python notebook
So guys, this was basically an entire Python based machine learning model to predict the price of flight on the given of, on the uh, basis of given features in the data set. Data set is fetched from Kaggle uh, and you can easily uh, type down to Kaggle to download this data set. We have uh, uh, done a lot of data pre-processing and feature engineering in this particular model of building process. And then we have further analyzed by uh, analyze these, uh, some of the trends. You can uh, even build some of uh, a sort of UI application in this particular model to generate an end-to-end -end, uh, machine learning model to uh, in the form of a, a UI based uh, site or app, website or application or something like that. Uh, so this was basically an entire Python based uh, machine learning model. We have uh, we have initially loaded a data set, then we have provided some of the uh, clean, uh, clean data set, uh, data setting, uh, data setting steps. We have cleaned the data set. Then we have performed some feature engineering and data pre-processing in the data set. And then we have finally reached to the, uh, we have finally created some correlations to identify and analyze the correlation between features. The next we have done is uh, we have performed some, uh, we have applied some algorithms and according to that algorithms we have trained that our particular model with a test size of 0.2, uh, which is, uh, which can, uh, the algorithms uh, which we have used in this particular model building process is extra tree regressor and hyper parameter tuning. So, and one label uh, hot encoding, as you, can, as you have seen that all the data values are, rep, uh, are replaced by zero and one. If it's active, it is, it is one. If it is not active, it is zero. So further, we have uh, find the accuracy of that particular model, which is of 80%, which is a good accuracy. And we have further, uh, we have further found the mean squared error, root mean squared error uh, to analyze the efficiency and, and the accuracy of this particular model. So guys, I hope things are clear and precise enough. Thank you so much guys for watch, uh, for watching this video. Uh, for getting more interesting stuff in technical domains and different technologies, please do subscribe to our channel My Project Ideas. Uh, see you in the next video guys. Till then keep growing and keep exploring. Thank you so much.